In this morning's Health Watch, we begin our three-part health, Heart Healthy series. Heart failure affects about 5 million people in the U.S. and contributes to about 300,000 deaths each year. Now an experimental device called the Parachute is being tested that allows blood to flow more effectively. Joining us is Myrna Musso, who had the device implanted in her heart in May, and her cardiologist, Dr. Robert Kipperman of New Jersey's Morristown Hospital. Good morning to you both. Good morning. So you first had a heart attack how many years ago? Eight. Eight years ago serious heart attack, you had been a smoker, you quit smoking, trying to take care of yourself. How would you describe your health before this thing got inserted? The last three years prior to the insertion, I was going downhill, yeah. especially in the breathing. Yeah. Uh, the slightest things, just getting out of bed in the morning. Couldn't do it. I, I would be huffing and puffing and wow. I, I live in a small apartment where it would take me one day to clean. It was now taking me four days wow. to clean. You, your friend hears an ad on the, on the radio, this experimental procedure. You call an 800 number, the next thing you know, this thing's inside. What, how did your life change? That was inserted on the 19th of May. The 20th of May, they allowed me out of the bed. I couldn't believe it. No huffing, no puffing. Wow. It, it was like instant. Day and night. Difference. Yes. Yeah. How does this work? Tell me how this works, Doc. Well, the, the theory behind it is that uh, when the heart muscle is damaged, the heart enlarges and the healthy, the remaining healthy heart doesn't function that well. Right. So this device, th this device uh, is inserted, uh, a tube is inserted mm -hmm. into the heart and through the tube, the device attached to a wire is pushed out the end and right. it expands and it, it excludes or or it walls off the damaged heart, making the chamber smaller okay. and allowing the, the healthy heart to function more efficiently. More, much more efficiently. Okay, so this then walls off, basically, right. the damaged yeah. part of the heart, Correct. allows the rest of the heart to work. Correct. And Myrna here can suddenly start dancing in her kitchen. Well, no, not that much. I can pick up my grandson now. That makes a big difference. How, how old is it? How is, how is He's 17 baby? months now. 17 months? Yes. So the before and the after were just so dramatic. I mean, yes. if, if your grandson came to visit you, could you even hold him in your lap? Barely. My daughter had to put him on my lap. Right. Now I can pick him up. I can put him on my lap. I can, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> I can hold him. Yeah. It's, it's just... Like a new a door has opened up, a new yeah. door. Dr. Kipperman, who is who are the best candidates for this kind of it, It's really procedure? designed for patients who have congestive heart failure as a result of a heart attack that involves the front surface of the mm -hmm. heart. Mm -hmm. And it's that area that we can wall off effectively that, that right. uh, or the patients who can benefit. Yeah. Myrna is the 28th person in the country in to the have world, this actually. in the world. How is it possible this will bridge over and be more yeah, widely available? This was a, a pilot trial with a few no, of a few patients. Uh, we're hoping to do a larger pivotal trial yeah. early next year to help many more patients. All right, Dr. Kipperman, thank you so much. Myrna, great to see you. Thank you. Look at that smile. Awesome. <laughs>